and welcome back. You're with Tyson, and I'm here to bring you a video about a game I absolutely love. This game is called Rocket League. Now, I don't feel embarrassed to say that Rocket League is one of my most favorite games. I absolutely adore it. It's very wacky, it's very cool. It's also very serious at the same time. There's just something about Rocket League that grabs my attention and doesn't want to let it go. It really is something I might need to see the doctor about, but I don't think I will. Rocket League offers an amazing customization. It goes above and beyond what you can customize in most games. You can customize the rocket trails, the cars, the colors, the skins, the wheels, the flags, what goes on top of your car. It goes above and beyond. So you can personalize your own vehicle and make it into something truly unique. Nearly everything is covered here and it is truly remarkable. Why stop at one? You can make as many presets as you want. So your chariot of awesomeness can reign terror in the Rocket League realm. You can play along with other people. You can play with friends as well. It is a truly, truly multiplayer game. And I think you'll have a lot more fun playing over multiplayer than just against the bots. The gameplay is very unpredictable, although the only thing you have to do is just try and score a goal. I mean, it sounds easy, but not when the other guy can do aerials or when the other guy knows how to pinch a ball off the wall and get it into your goal. There is a learning curve to Rocket League. Being able to learn some of the tricks and stunts is actually, you know, gonna be quite time consuming, but once you nail them, and you start scoring some truly bonkers goals, you're gonna feel as if you achieved. I do play competitive mode more than any other game mode. And competitive mode for me is what really sets Rocket League off. Bearing in mind Rocket League is an eSport and the challenge that you face when playing in competitive mode is incredible. For example, went into overtime and I managed to score that last goal and that in itself is one of the most uplifting feelings. It, it's brilliant. So Rocket League, um, I've been playing Rocket League now for the past four, maybe even five years and I've seen it go through some really incredible changes. I mean, it really has changed. You know, we didn't have game modes like uh, Rumble, uh, which is probably one of the newer game modes, uh, Drop Shot as well, which is a more newer one. Literally, if you saw the game in the beginning to what it is now, the guys that put this together, or the team that put the game together, really went over the top.
Their plan isn't to make a sequel, they just want to keep making Rocket League grow, and I think that is awesome. They haven't put any DLC maps in there, they haven't put a paywall in there. Yes, they have a great system, uh, which is now a credit system. There are DLC cards, but it doesn't detract from the gameplay in any way, shape or form. Rocket League does feature a massive community. You'll find eSport websites, you'll find the official forums, as well as the Steam forums is always a great place to find new friends, to find new challenges. And Steam itself does have a workshop, so you can actually download maps, tutorials, and all kinds of cool challenges created by other content creators. It really is feature-packed, and the community have strengthened Rocket League I really do look forward to coming home from work, playing a few games, when it's my day off, also getting on, challenging myself to do better while playing competitively. And you never know, one day you might see me do an eSport match. Who knows? That's the plan. But I do want to say thank you very much for watching this video. It sounds like a fanboy video, but it really isn't. I just wanted to share my love for a game that has really helped me out and looked after me over the last couple of years. So thank you very much, you all stay good, see you soon.